at last. A full featured snowplow designed specifically for today's sport utility vehicles and lightweight pickups. Introducing the Homesteader by Fisher. The ultimate snow removal tool for the homeowner. For when you want it done, you want it done right, and you want it done now. The Homesteader is a brand new design. A personal use snowplow made just for your vehicle. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the Homesteader meets critical federal standards and manufacturer's weight requirements for your vehicle. But don't let its size fool you. This equipment is designed to allow your SUV or lightweight pickup to clear your driveway faster than any shovel or snowblower could. From the people that have been building quality professional snow removal equipment for over 50 years. Take a closer look at the Homesteader, starting with the plow. The lightweight, durable polyethylene blade never needs painting. And even heavy snow rolls right off its slick surface. With the exclusive scrape lock feature, the blade stays hydraulically locked down when you're plowing, so your driveway is scraped clean. But if the blade ever strikes a raised obstacle, it will instantly release or trip forward to protect your vehicle from any jarring impact. All blade operation is controlled right from the driver's seat with a convenient handheld control or optional joystick. And the Homesteader goes on and off so easily, you won't mind taking it on and off on an as-needed basis. Look how easy it is. With the receiver brackets installed on your vehicle, you simply center your vehicle behind the plow and drive into the receiver arms. Or, if you prefer to engage the plow manually, drive up to the plow mount and stop just before you reach the receiver arms. Then, push the plow mount into the receiver arms on the vehicle, making sure the receiver arms are fully engaged. Unlock the two connecting pins by twisting them until the pin tab is free of the connecting arm. Once both pins have been unlocked, a simple push on the headgear will automatically snap the pins into place and connect the plow mount to the vehicle. Plug in the three electrical plugs. Remove the jacks by loosening the jack handle and sliding the jack sleeve down below the retainer. Store the jacks in a safe place. Now you're ready to plow. To remove the plow from the vehicle when you're done plowing, park on level ground and lower the blade. Install the jacks by placing the jack in the jack retainer until it is fully engaged. Lower the jack to the ground. Then tighten the jack handle. While pushing the plow gear toward the vehicle to release tension, pull the connecting pin out and twist the pin handle to keep it retracted. Repeat this procedure for the other connecting pin as well. Unplug the electrical plugs and place the connector that powers the electric motor in the rubber boot provided on the plow gear. The two other electrical connectors plug into one another. Now you can simply back away. If you want to remove the receiver brackets from your vehicle for full ground clearance or during the off season, simply remove the two cotter pins and the mounting pins holding the receiver brackets in place. If ground clearance isn't a concern, you may simply leave them on. Lightweight and durable. Nothing beats the speed, efficiency and fun of clearing your driveway yourself with the only personal snowplow designed specifically for your vehicle. The Homesteader Snowplow. Fisher. Now, here are a few tips from the pros for plowing your driveway efficiently and effectively. It's a good idea to begin preparing for snow plowing before it snows. Use tall stake markers to mark the edges of your driveway and any other hazards you want to avoid such as walkways and ditches. When the snow gets deep, it can be difficult to remember exactly where everything is, and you'll appreciate having these markers to guide you. Get to know your equipment before you plow by studying the Homesteader Owner's Manual. Always plow in low range and in the low or first gear. Practice using the controls in an open area until you become fully comfortable with their operation. The Homesteader controls are simple and logical. To raise the plow blade, press raise. To angle it left or right, while in the raised position, press the left or right buttons. To lower the blade, simply press lower. 
Some vehicles require ballast or additional weight, such as sandbags, behind the rear axle to meet manufacturer's weight distribution requirements. See your homesteader owner's manual for details. When it's time to plow the driveway, attach the homesteader to your vehicle, making sure you follow the instructions in the owner's manual. Take a moment to raise and lower the blade and angle it from side to side to make sure it's working properly. Always keep people well clear of the blade when it's being raised and lowered and never allow anyone to stand between the blade and your vehicle or directly in front of it. Even though you're only in your own driveway, keep safety a priority. Wear your seatbelt and please don't take passengers while plowing. If you must pull into the road while you're working, make sure to always look both ways and wait until the way is clear. It may sound obvious, but it's easy to get caught up in your work and forget to look. Also, you should be aware that in most states, a rooftop light is required by law once you pull out into the road. To begin a forward pass, start moving the vehicle forward before you lower the blade so you have momentum as you begin pushing snow. Keep on moving and as you come to the end of your pass, let off the gas and begin to raise the blade using the resistance of the snow pile and your brake to come to a smooth stop. Lifting the blade before you come to the end of your pass will help to stack the snow and prevent damaging the turf. Also, make sure you come to a full stop before shifting to reverse. Wait until you hear the transmission engage before moving again to prevent excess wear. When plowing snow, a good rule of thumb is to keep a minimum of two feet distance between your plow and any buildings or walls. There could be slippery patches under the surface, causing your vehicle to unexpectedly slide sideways while plowing, and you don't want to be too close to something if this happens. Avoid spinning your wheels on the surface. Ease off the gas to allow the wheels to grip the surface. If you're expecting a lot of snow, it's a good idea to plow the area more than once while it's snowing if you can. It's a lot easier to plow four inches of snow twice than it is to plow eight inches one time, especially if the snow is wet and heavy. Keep in mind, the wider the pass you take, the greater the volume of snow you'll be pushing. Also, the longer your driveway, the more volume you'll accumulate in a single pass. Here's a general guideline for how much snow to load your plow with. If the snow is one to three inches deep, use three quarters of the plow blade. If it's four to six inches, use about half of the blade. If it's deeper than that, take smaller bites or make shorter passes to keep the load to a manageable level. Also, if the snow is wet and heavy, you'll want to carry less than if it's dry and light. With experience, you'll learn what a comfortable load is for your vehicle and plow to handle. If the vehicle gets bogged down under too heavy a load, back off and move the pile in a series of smaller bites. And when backing up, don't rely on just your mirrors. Always turn around and look behind you. There is no excuse for backing into something, or worse yet, someone. When planning your plowing pattern, try to make the first pass closest to any buildings or walls. Angle the blade to push the snow away from the building and repeat in a series of successive passes until all of the snow has been moved across the driveway or to your piling areas. Keep in mind when building snow piles to push it back far enough to have room for future snowfalls. One method for plowing driveways with a garage at the end is to drive all the way up to the garage door, lower the blade in straight mode, not angled, and pull the snow approximately two car lengths back. This is called back dragging. Repeat the process for the full width of the driveway. Now you can turn around and back up over the small pile you've just made into the plowed area and begin pushing the snow away from the garage. If you want to pile snow along one side of the driveway, begin working at the opposite side with the blade angled and continue plowing in a series of passes until it's all moved to the other side. If you want to pile snow along both sides, start in the middle and work in a series of passes with the blade angled to move half the snow to one side and then repeat on the other side. 
If you want to pile the snow near the entrance of the driveway and not along the sides, begin pushing from the outer edge on one side, slightly angling the blade toward the center. Leave the snow in a temporary pile near the entrance while you continue clearing. When you've reached the middle, begin working from the other side, again angling toward the center. Most of the snow will be pushed forward and overspill will fall to the center so that your final pass will be to clean up the overspill from the center with your blade in straight mode. If you can't get it all in one pass, repeat until all the snow has been moved to the front of the driveway. Now you can finish by pushing the snow pile you've made into the corners of the entrance, being careful not to leave any snow in the road or on sidewalks. Again, Please use extra caution if you need to back into the roadway. Each driveway is different, and the patterns you use will depend on the shape of the driveway, the obstacles you need to avoid, and the places where you'll be piling snow. When parking your vehicle with the plow attached, always lower the blade so it rests on the ground to take stress off the hydraulic components. If you need to transport your homesteader snowplow over the road, raise the plow blade to its full height and leave it in straight mode. Turn off the plow controls to prevent accidentally moving the plow during transport. Never change the position of the blade while traveling. Always follow the posted speed limit and never exceed 45 miles per hour while transporting your snowplow. If your vehicle tends to overheat, you can angle the blade to allow more airflow to the radiator. That's it. With a little practice and a little common sense, it's easy to plow your own driveway quickly, easily, and safely with the Homesteader by Fisher.